All right, another quick and dirty video for you guys. Yesterday, I talked about the Bells of Steel Hero Bench. I didn't mention that it had a thousand pound capacity because in reality, I actually have a thousand and ten pounds on it right now and it's holding fine. Super sturdy bench overall, but these are the Rogue USA Olympic plates. So these are machined, but they're the closest you can get to made in USA calibrated comp plates. So very similar profile, similar style. They are accurate, not as accurate probably as a competition style plate would be but they're e-coat, they're nice, they look really cool. And I got them to go on this new Ghost Strong plate tree that I have in, which I think I've posted some pictures on, but I haven't actually showed you. I'll do a video on this as well. A custom made one that I had Ghost Strong make me. I think it came out really, really well. Uh, the Hansu plates are fantastic. I'm not getting rid of them because I don't like them. They're just going to live at my friend's gym where I think people will get more use out of them being comp specific. And while these are very close, these are going to match the Made in USA vibe that I'm trying to get here and also the color scheme. You can also see the aftermath of a bunch of other crap that I need to clean up. That's why I don't show you the angle back there of the basement. As you guys know, I've been rearranging quite a bit and I still have some cleaning up to do. My plan is to, number one, put these on the weight tree. I will then also compare them to the new Bells of Steel e-coat plates. Obviously, these are not as thin. And then, of course, compare them to my favorite plates, which are the Strength Co. plates right over there which I have a ton in. So I didn't get these to replace the Strength Co, but I got these to basically act as a competition style plate since I do compete and also match more of the aesthetic that I'm going for and the Made in USA vibe. But then I can compare what I think are the best e-coat plates on the market right now, which are these from Rogue, these from Bells of Steel, and these from the Strength Co. I will not be including the Rogue Deep Dish in that review and comparison just because I think they're too wide for most people, at least for me. I don't see a reason to go with them as opposed to something super thin or something more manageable where you do get a slight lip. I think there's a point of diminishing returns and it's just a coincidence that I'm showing you some of the 35s here, which by the way, the Strength Co. 35 should be out soon. So let me go ahead and put these new plates on the tree and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. All right, so the damage is done. Things are loaded, bunch more extra trash. The hardest part about this was Rogue used some different type of glue than I've seen on their other plates and packaging before. This stuff was a pain in the ass to get off. I didn't want to just cut into the boxes because I didn't want to scratch up the finish on the plates, uh, but finally got everything loaded for the most part. I say for the most part, just because one of the things with these particular plates and the deep dish plates is the chains plates have been out of stock. So I still need some fives and I'm probably gonna get some two and a half and maybe some one pound plates that would act as like chips. Uh, I do have these gym way ones still that I'm going to keep just because they're awesome. But overall we have uh, two pairs of 10s, two pairs of 25s, two pairs of 35s, two pairs of 45s on that side, and then five pairs of 55s in total. So I think this is 1,010 pounds. Obviously, I'm still gonna add a little bit more, uh, but really happy with these and how they look. I think it matches the aesthetic of what I'm going for really nice. However, it'd be really nice once I get rid of all that trash. So this is the kind of stuff that no one likes to talk about when it comes to getting gym equipment. This is from obviously the plates today. There's also some pallets and whatnot from Ghost from that rack itself. Luckily, my brother-in-law took a bunch of the plywood wood that came with that. It helped me a lot, but this is a full load. And this is basically one of the main things that I end up using this truck for. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I've also kind of got that white and black theme going. But bring this to the dump tomorrow and then hopefully keep the gym somewhat clean until it's not with the next thing that ends up coming in.